What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Roblox video. Today we are going to be playing the Piggy Result of Isolation Concepts. Once again, there's like five different games that we're going to check out. I found a bunch of them. Some of them we've done before that have been recently updated. We are currently in my favorite Result of Isolation Concepts game, and there are two brand new badges. Well, there's technically three, but to get the collab badge, for some reason, you have to be in the game where the collab developer is playing this game. I don't think it's the developer of this game. It's like whoever they're collabing with. You get this really cool badge. Um, I was hoping that we could maybe get it ourselves, maybe playing their game, but no. We have to be in here while they're in here, and that's probably never gonna happen. Look how cool Devil Piggy looks, dude. Bro, that is a sick avatar. I actually really like that. Okay, guys, these are the two new badges. We have the Living Puppet, who kind of looks like, uh, it's like a Mari with a super creepy looking mouth. And then we have he's near you. Whoa, dude. Look at that. It's like Mr. Stitchy, but crazier. And he's got a whole bunch of colors. He looks like he's melting. He looks like melting ice cream. <laughs> but that's not even what he is. Okay, so we need to go into the new forest map. They added the forest to the game, which is really cool. And that's where the new badges are located. So to get the Mari one, we're going to have to find one of the cabins. I have no idea which one it is, but we're going to search around like we always do. And we just need to find Mari, like, body parts. There it is. Whoa. How you doing, Mari? The living puppet. Hmm. All right. Well, he's got legs, but I don't think Mari has legs like in the actual morph. These badges are really easy to get, by the way, and they're both in the forest. We need to go over here. This is how you get the Mr. Stitchy one. The gr uh, I almost said green. Something's wrong with my colors recently. I don't know wh what's going on. It's not green. It's orange. We got the he is near you award. I saw it. I saw that black creature with bear mask. He's real. We are all in danger. P. Who said that, Pony? I don't know. If Pony wrote that, I'm not going to trust him on it, all right? Now that we have both badges, finally we could go back to the lobby here. These were so easy to get, though, and I'm glad because I don't like looking for too long. What is over here? Is this new? Wait, what? Wait, what is this? Bro, wait, are you a person stuck? <laughs> um, wait, there's morphs in there, dude. What is that? That's like a claw. Wait, are they like hiding them from us for right now? Or are we actually able to go in there? I think those might be like coming soon. I don't know. It just looked like rash. Okay, we're going to keep moving on. We're going to check out the two new badges that we just unlocked. Let's check out the living puppet first. We have Mari. Whoa. Oh, look at him swinging, dude. Because <laughs> he doesn't have any legs. And he's only got one arm. Bro, you are struggling. But hey, you can float. You don't even need to walk. You technically don't walk anyways. You're on a marionette. Whatever these things are called. Puppet strings. This one's all snipped, though. So technically, you're like kind of just hanging on there. What is over here? Oh, yeah. This is how we got the plushie badge. We've already done this. I do like the animation of the swinging, though, because it really makes sense. Because Mari floats on the strings, but if he was walking, he would be, like, swinging like this. But he wouldn't be because he has no legs, so how could he walk? I am just confusing myself. Wow, very cool. Let's check out Jump Scare. I like it. Distortion with the squish noise. Disgusting. All right, and now for he is near you. Yes, come on, spawn into him. Why are there so many people? <laughs> There's so many people in here. <laughs> Guys, we can't all fit. Wait, how'd you get oofed if you already have the badge? Maybe it's because you couldn't fit in there. Wait, what is Georgie? What are you doing back here, dude? Are you lost? <laughs> He's hiding. Here I come. Wiggle me out of my cage. Whoa, I love the mouth, dude. 
because it doesn't look like all the other ones that we've seen recently. You know what I'm saying? Like the the like regular result of isolation mouth that we've been seeing a whole lot. This one's really cool, dude. That face. I like how they did the eye different too. That we got the circle right here. This just looks like it was like ripped. Like if a kid was gonna like rip a teddy bear's face right here, that's what it would look like. He's got the insolence eyes in his mouth. Dude, he looks like he was eating SpaghettiOs. We got the meatballs right there. All right, we got the... Wait, noodles? SpaghettiOs don't have noodles, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> this one is awesome. Oh, he like runs fast. Oh, wait, it's because I'm on the conveyor, right? Yeah, he doesn't actually run fast. All right, Mr. Stitchy Thing, jump scare. Oh, he's gonna eat your face. Yummy. <laughs> but I thought you ate SpaghettiOs, dude. What the heck? Whoa, look how cool he looks in the dark, dude. What? He glows so much. What is this? Over here. Nothing special. Go away. Dude, is this a secret morph? Oh, it's a dog. No, you're not gonna let us get it? Or can you? Oh, you gotta sneak around. Yeah, sneak around to it. Wait, am I- maybe I'm not even gonna be able to do it because I don't have- or I'm- I'm a- other skin. Guys, let me know down below. Can I unlock this? It's a puppy. Dude! Oh wait, now I'm above it. Oh no, I wanna like- can I fall down maybe? No! There's- I- I think that it's completely blocked off. Piggy, can you get it? I don't think we can. Alright, jump scare in the dark. Super spooky. This looks better in the dark for sure. All right, guys, we just joined a different Result of Isolation Concepts game. I don't know why we spawned in the house. Wait, what? Okay, we're actually supposed to be over there, and there's no teleporter. So let's just try to make our way over to the actual skins. Now, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that this is the developer that you have to meet to get the the skin that we couldn't get in the last game because i believe that this is neo i don't know how to pronounce your name a hundred percent so i'm just gonna call you neo okay i think that this is him from the last game and he has his own badge so if we played the game that we just played we get the actual morph of him in this one. So at least we can do one of the collabs. I don't know how to get any of the other badges. Collab, go play Piggy, the result of in isolation concepts. Okay, and that's the one that we just did. So we should be able to spawn into him. I actually thought that this was Mimi when I was testing to see if the game works because you can't see the skin and all I saw was purple and black and they had their back turned in it. So this is actually really cool, dude. Look how he's got like the little piggy head in his hand. That's awesome, dude. It's like he's gonna go bowling. <laughs> oh, dude, this is so cool. First one I've ever seen, I think, that has to do with like an actual person. All right, so we got Dessa down here. The store concept. What's so funny, Dessa? Why are you LOLing? Look how tiny your mouth is. <laughs> oh, he has his own jump scare, of course. The scream. Store concept, we got Dessa and then somebody else. It's just like a little piggy. Carnival, okay, we have Clowny and Foxy. The Teddy Pack plushies. Little Rudolph the Reindeer in there. We got Mr. Scarecrow. Ooh, he looks cool. I like Mr. Scarecrow. Very nice. This one we already have. Another Teddy Pack. Okay, Unexpected Death. Ugh, that kind of looks like... Uh, I guess like VHS archives, but maybe without that mouth and the teeth. Bambi mini tune, what the heck? <laughs> and now we are in the, the other concept game that we sometimes go into because they do update this game quite often. So they have three different new skins in here. This is just like an extra area. Look at Barry, dude. Oh, he's like bubbling. Why, dude, he's so big. Look how they, oh, the E, it was, I think, was supposed to be, like, knocked off by him. That's why it just says extras. That's really cool. Kind of like a store sign that broke. Oh, dude, what are these bubbles? I want to pop them. 
And then we have, like, some kind of memory distorted penny thing. Oh my gosh. She has, like, a scythe, I think, coming out of her mouth? What the heck? That's actually really cool looking. And she's got, like, the little anglerfish light. Bro, Barry's looking crazy, though. Can we... Oh my gosh. I called him crazy and see what he does to me. He kicks me in the head. There should be one extra one down here. I really wish we could morph into these. Oh. <laughs> I just booted Ellie. I wonder if we could push... Can we push Robbie off the map? Get off the map, Robbie. Everybody push. Push him. He's evil. No. he's. I don't think he's going to move. You kind of have to use the conveyor. Well, you guys can try, but I don't know if it's going to work. So, I think... Think? Did we see? Yeah, we saw Katie and everything last time. But did we see Granny Pig? I don't think Granny was in this map before. What is coming out of her stomach, dude? Ugh. Can we jump on it? Oh, we can. We can stand on Granny's guts. <laughs> yes. Thank you for letting us stand on your guts, Granny. She ate a little bit too much piggy poutine. And I think it poisoned her. And that's why her guts are coming out of her stomach. Whoa, look at Mousy. Dude, what the heck? Mousy, is she gonna be a crawler? Oh, she is! Crawler Mousy! Disclaimer, this is the updated version of Mousy, the one in here. The old version concept I made, so the one here is the right new version. Got it now? <laughs> yes, brother, thank you. I understand. Thank you for the clarification. Wow, I love the details in her face. Look at her brain, dude. Her brain's coming out of her eyeball. What do you guys think of Mousy? <laughs> so creepy. I love how she's crawling, though. So that's awesome. So we can actually test her out real quick. She has like a skelly pig arm, a little skeleton arm. Oh, she, she doesn't even have a body, dude. She doesn't even have legs. Of course she doesn't have legs. She's, she's Mousy. Kind of how it will work. Oh no, little Georgie! He's so scared. That's awesome how they made like a little display. It's like we're at a museum of corrupted, uh, crazy monsters. <laughs> Piggies. All right. Can we go inside the actual vent? Mousy bot test. Um, is she gonna crawl? Kind of. Oh, she's oofing everybody, dude. Oh, she's. Dude, she's actually really fast. She's very aggressive. She just wants cheese. Mousy, I don't have any cheese. I'm sorry. No, she just wants guts. Mousy, no. Oh, I don't have any cheese. All right, guys, this is the final game that we're going to go into. This is actually a TVA, Piggy, the VHS archives concept. But they only have two morphs in here, but they're actually really cool. I'm pretty sure they only have two morphs. I didn't see any badges in the game description. I would highly recommend adding more because the way that they made Penny in this really caught my attention. And that's pretty much the only reason why I even wanted to check out this game. Because there are only two morphs. So I really liked the way that they did this. And because it's not Result of Isolation, it's VHS Archives which hasn't updated in a pretty long time. So I hope that um, the developers are doing well and I really hope that they continue because that game was incredible. Whoa, dude, are, do her eyes roll? I think that they roll around. Oh my God, oh, they rolled to the back of her head. This is so good. Jump scare. Oh, they rolled to the back of her head while she does a jump scare. And this is actually really good for like a classic Penny. Because a lot of times Penny looks not like actual Penny. We've seen her uh, distorted Penny in both Piggy and the result of isolation. You can't tell that that's Penny because she's eight feet tall and she's a big mama. Okay. <laughs> but this is like, I think kind of hard to do just because she's so tiny. There's only so many things that you can do with a model this big, you know. All right, and then we have Kona. I'm just gonna, eh, I guess I'll reset because I do want to see his jump scare and technically he's gonna be the last one. 
I don't know how his jump scare is going to be because his mouth is closed. And he doesn't have, like, a creepy mouth. He's just creepy. He's got a bloody eyeball. He's missing his one of his eyes. And his blowtorch... Okay, you, bro, your blowtorch animation was so long. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope you really enjoy these concepts again. You guys seem to really like them, and I absolutely love them. So if you guys want to see more, make sure to smack the like button. Use star code Tussie, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace!